Well, according to the National Retail Federation, approximately $3.1 billion have been spent this year on Halloween candy. Now, all that candy is a kid's dream, maybe even my dream. But parents, for them, it's a nightmare. Five News reporter Jose Carranza spoke to some kids about how they fear the dentist. As trick-or-treaters flood the streets, their dentists may want them to stick closer to chocolate or soft candies. Those things don't adhere to the teeth as much. They wash away with the saliva easier, and, and they're not tacky, so they're not going to pull off uh, dental restorations or anything like that versus like hard candy such as jawbreakers. We see a lot of kids, Jolly Ranchers, things like that. They can fracture, even like a healthy tooth in a child, they can fracture the enamel off, they can damage dental restorations, and they can cause pain, or if they have loose teeth, they can crack them. There's lots of things that can happen. No matter how big your candy stash at the end of the night, hold your kids off from eating it all. With tooth decay, frequency is the most important thing. And so if they, if they milk that bag of candy out over the next like three, four weeks after Halloween and they're eating a little bit every single day, that's going to be a, a higher increase to the cavity risk. Just remember to have safe fun. After you let them have their treat, which they should be allowed to do, then just, you know, diligent brushing. Have a happy Halloween. All right, thank you, Jose. Now, Dr. Garrett Sanders says that if your Halloween night does not end up does end up with a toothache, rather, to give your local dentist a call and to set up a limited exam.